Yes, hello everyone outside there that is watching us on BTN TV. Those who have been following us on BTN TV and those who are following us on BTN TV. We recognize you, we recognize your follow. Uh, my name is Teacher Fred, as usual. For those who have been following the program, they know that already. So today, again, I'm in the studio presenting another lesson. And uh, specifically, we are going to deal with the multiplication of whole numbers. That will be the lesson of today. Uh, when we look at multiplication of whole numbers, they have given us one example which says, work out, uh, work out, two millions, 434,332 times 12. So before I, uh, before I hand my, uh, my example or before I work out, I want us first of all to look at this. When they talk about multiplication of whole numbers or when they talk about specifically the word multiplication, what do they mean? Which either words really simply mean the same is what I'm looking at. I want us to look at that. Uh, which other words really carry the same meaning with the word multiplication? It is what we need to find out first of all. Because in most cases, they don't always only say multiply. They use different words. Most so when we come to words where they were by numbers, they said them in a sentence form. That is what the problem. They always use different words. So we need to be in position, first of all, to identify which words really simply mean this sign or represents this sign. This sign here. So when we look at that, multiplication. As we look at this multiplication, I want us to look at the words that simply mean multiplication. In most cases, you will find out different words requiring us to multiply numbers and when we multiply those numbers we shall be using the same words to interpret what we have been given so that we can be in a position to multiply out the number so in simple terms we shall say here we shall have words like multiply we shall have words like multiply at the same time we shall have words like Times. At the same time, so all these words, when you find out in mathematics where they say multiply times, it is the same, which everything is requiring you to multiply. Then at the same time, we also have what we call products. Product. So when you look at this, we have multiply times product. So all these words here simply represent multiplication. So you shouldn't be confused with any of these words at any point. You may find the question saying work out the product of one and a three. Simply they mean once you see that word product, they want you to multiply one and three. At the same time, you may find somewhere in a certain question that uh, James went to, uh, went to market and bought two oranges. The same time, he went back for two oranges. At the same time, he went there for two oranges. Or they may say, each time he went there, he bought two oranges. And he went there five times. So there, as long as you see times, just know you are going to multiply the number of times and the number of oranges that this person was coming with at the same time. So when we check on multiplication, we shall always be having words like multiply. We shall be having words like times. We shall be having words like product. That is specifically multiplication. So let's look at the, our example one. And we see what does it what is it requiring us to do. So when you look at example one, they have given us a number and they want us to multiply this very number by 12. So the first thing we shall need to do is to identify our number and we arrange it well. So I'll have the first digit or the first number as two millions. 
We shall have the first one as 2 million 400. We shall have the first one as 2 million 434,000, 34, 34, So we shall have, first of all, to copy our number aside the way we have done. Then from there, we shall be required to multiply with the second number that they have given us. So I'll have to arrange it well. If I feel like here it is a little bit congested, then I will have to arrange it well. I'll say two. I'll have my two, four, three, four, three, four, two. This is two. It may not be seen well, but I have to endure a little bit. So we shall have two, four, three, four, three, four, two. So we want to write this or we want to multiply this or we want to find the product of the words that or of the number that has been given. So we shall look at this. We have two millions four hundred thirty four thousand four hundred thirty two. I mean forty two. So we want to get that number. And we multiply it by 12. So this 12 here, we shall not multiply 12 from here. We shall have to come and arrange it according to its place value. So the 2 will be written under 2, and the 1 will be written under 4. Why do we write it in that way? We are considering what we call place values. Once you are dealing with any number in mathematics, most, more so when you are dealing with addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, you need to consider place values so much. Everything should move together as it is required by the place values. So when we look at this, we want to see, or we want to multiply, or we want to find the product of these digits here. Now, the first step we shall need to do is that we are going to first of all come for the number which is under the place value of 1. Then after that, uh, identifying these two of ours, we shall multiply it with the whole of this number. We shall have to get that 2, we multiply with the whole of this number. Remember 2 is under 1. So if I have to multiply it with the whole number, what does it mean? It means, it means that I'll have my 2 millions 434,342 times 2. Times 2. I'm having the whole of this number. I'm multiplying it by 2. What does it mean? I'm going to first of all begin with this digit. I multiply with everything here. So I'll say 2 times 2. It will give us 4. We shall say, we shall not come to 1. We have to first of all deal with this 2 from here up to here. Because I've said this 2 will multiply everything. So I shall come to this. We say 2 times 4. It will give us 8. Then we shall have 2 times 3, which will give us 6. Then we shall have 2 times 4, which will give us 8. At the same time, we shall also have 2 times 3, that will give us 6. At the same time, we shall have 2 times 4, it will give us 8. Then finally, on the first digit, we shall say 2 times 2, that will result in 2, 4. So when you look at that, that will be now the first step for ones. We have got our digit and we have multiplied with everything. So after there, we are required to come to the second digit. That will be 1. But this 1 is under the place value of 10. So it means this will be valued as 10. 
Because if you get 10 plus 2, you'll come out with the 12. So this will be considered as 10. Uh, now we are going to get this 1 and we multiply with everything here. And since it is going to be, it, it is under the place value of 10s, then it means I'll have my number, the whole of this number, we multiply by 10 because it is under the place value of 10. So I'll have 2, 4, 3, 4, 3, 4, 2 times 10. We are going to multiply with the 10 because 1 is under the place value of 10s. So I'll say, I'll say 1 times 2. It will have to give us 2. But remember, here we have nothing. So if we have, why do we start from here? Before I say we have nothing here, why do we start from here? Not writing here too. Because we have said 1 times 2, we could write here too. But it is, we are not allowed to write here too. Why do you think so? We are not allowed to write here too. Because this 1 is under the place value of 10. So if it is under the place value of 10s, we shall also have to write the answer under the place value of 10s. So if we write it under the place value of 10s, you realize that 2 will be written under 4. I mean under 8, not 4. So what do we have here? Here we have nothing. So I'll come in and say, 1 times 4, it will give us 4. 1 times 3, 1 times 4. I'm saying 1 times 2, it has given us 2. 1 times 4, it has given us 4. 1 times 3, it has given us 3. 1 times 4, it has given us 4. 1 times 3, it has also given us 3. 1 times 4, it will give us 4. At the same time, 1 times 2 it will have to give us 2. Remember here there was nothing, and we said nothing can also be represented by 0. 0 means nothing. So here, we have come out with the product of 2 independently. At the same time, we have also come out with the product of 10 independently. So from there, I want us to find the sum of the two uh, of the two products, the first product and the second product. And here we shall say we have to add. When we come to addition, you realize that we cannot add starting from this side. We have to start from the smallest plus value. That will be ones. So if it is ones, we shall say four plus zero. That will give us four. Then we shall have. 8 plus 2, that is 10. 10, we are not allowed to write 10. 10, we shall write 0, and we regroup 1. I will say 1 plus 6, that will be 7. 7 plus 4, it will be 11. 11, we shall have to write here. 1, and regroup 1 here. 1 plus 8, that's 9. 9 plus 3, it will have to give us 12. So 12, we shall write here 2, and we regroup 1. 1 plus 6, 7. 7 plus 4, that will be 11. 11, I will be required to write here 1, and we regroup 1 here. Then we shall say 1 plus 8, that will be 9. 9 plus 3, that will be 12. 12, we shall have to write 2, and we regroup 1 here. 1 plus 4, it will be 5. 5 plus 4, it will be 9. Then finally, here we have nothing. So we shall say nothing plus 2. We shall come out with 2. Then lastly, after reaching there, after arranging my number the way it is, I'll come here and say, there are 4, 2 millions, 430. 4,342 multiplied by 12 will give us, I'll come here and say 1, 2, 3, comma, 1, 2, 3, comma. It will give us 29 millions, 212,104. This will be now our product. Then from there I will get I'll have to get uh, to come up with my ruler.
then I underline what I've done. This looks to be not straight enough. For you who is using a ruler, make sure your work is straight enough. So I'll have to underline my war answer. That is the first example that we have looked at. So when you look at this first example, what we have considered most is the place value of the numbers you are multiplying. Once you consider the place value of the numbers, then your outcome will be correct. But once you fail to follow the place value, then what you will come out with it will not be right. For example, if you fail to follow the place value, you realize that this 12 might have been written somewhere here, not where it is. And when you multiply out, you'll find out that your work won't balance, and in a, at the end of it all, you'll end up by making simple errors, and any simple error in mathematics, totally you'll have to fail the whole number. Yet you know what to do. So when you're outside there and follow, uh, following us, or following this program, my idea to you, or my skill to pass over you as a candidate, as any pupil outside there watching us, this is what you have to put in mind. When you are handling mathematics, don't overrush. Don't assume. Simply move step by step, slow but sure. But don't be again too slow. Slow but sure. Every step should not be ignored. Follow all the steps until you reach the last point. Every step in mathematics, it carries a mark. So if you skip any step, then it means you are losing a mark. Always follow steps and follow instructions. Strictly just like the way how the question is asking you or follow what the question wants you to do. So from here, after this first example, I would like us also to look at the second example. And the second example will be saying also, remember the words that I have previously talked of, which also mean the same with the multiplication. So you have to be keen with those words, such that whenever they appear anywhere, at any point, you don't get confused of them. You see the word product? Just know they, want, they are talking about multiplying. You see the word times? Just know they are talking about uh, multiplication. So when us look at second example, we see what does the second example require us to do. It's what I want us to do at the moment. So second example will say, find find the product find the product of find the product of 2 millions 484,343 on and 231. So I want us to look at this. They have said, find the product of 2 million 484,343 and 200. 31. So we want us to look at the product. Here, when you look at this question here, they have talked of the word product. So if they have talked of the word product, what comes in your minds? Just like I've explained it earlier on. I said as long as you come across the word product, simply they mean they want you to multiply what you are given. They want you to multiply what you are given. So I want us to look at that. First of all, how do we find the product of this number? And simply when I'm talking about the product, just know we are going to multiply the number out. 
the given numbers are supposed to be multiplied. That is what they mean by the word product. And this is the word that is showing us that this number requires us to multiply it. It is only one word that is making or giving the command that we should multiply these numbers. That is the word product. So whenever you come across the word product in mathematics, first of all, think about it. Look at the question, how it is phrased. So once it, you say it phrased the way this one is phrased, that find the product of 2 million, 484,343 and 231. They want us to find the product of those numbers. So what I would have to do is, I know very well that product simply means multiplying. So I'll have to identify my numbers, or I have to copy my number down, then I multiply it out. Just like the way how the question required us to do. So the first thing I'll do, I'll have to say, my two millions, 484,343. This is the number that is required to be multiplied by 231. So my one would be under the place value of ones, three will be under tens, then finally, two will be on the place value of a hundred. Then from there, we come and multiply the numbers out as you are seeing it. So when you look at the first one, we shall say one times the whole of the number which is given. And which number has been given? The number that has been given is two millions four hundred eighty four thousand. 343. So that is the number that they have given us to be multiplied by 231. So if we are to multiply this by that, then it means the first step we need to do is to find out the product of the first digit with the whole of the number. So I'll have the first step as what is my number? 2 million 400. 84,343 times 1. Because the first digit is 1. What does it mean? I'm going to have my first digit multiplied by everything up there. So I'll first of all say 1 times 3 will give us 3. 1 times 4 it will have to give us 4. 1 times 3, 3. 1 times 4, 4. 1 times 8, 8. 1 times 4, Four. One times three, um, one times two, it also have to give us two. So when you look at the number, you realize that the first number has been multiplied with the first number that you reached. Then from there, remember we have got three digits. I've used the first digit, so we are going to the second digit. And which place value does the second digit belong to? Definitely, it belongs to the thousands. I mean, at ten. Now, if it belongs to tens, then what does it mean? We can't multiply in the thousands. We can't multiply in the hundreds. We have to multiply the number within the limit of tens. Okay. So I will have my number as two, four, eight, four, three, four, three times. Now we come to three. But under which place value? Tens. So I will have to multiply this by 30. I'll have to multiply that by 30. And after multiplying by 30, we shall have to come with everything here. So let's look at this. I want us to begin with 3. This simply means we are going to have this 3 multiplied by the whole of this number. We are going to have 3 multiply it by the whole of this number is what we are doing so we are going to begin with the first digit that's three times three which will give us nine i'll write nine below four not three i'll not write it under ones reason being three is not under the place value of four 
ones. It is under the place value of tens. That's why I'm writing at a under four. Then I'll say three times four. That will give us 12. 12, we shall have to write two. We regroup one. Three times four, 12. 12, we shall have to write two. We regroup one. Then from there, after regrouping, we shall have to get three times three. That is nine. Nine plus one that you regrouped, that will give us 10. So after getting 10, I will have to write zero. We regroup one. Then we shall say three times four, that is 12. 12 plus one, 13. 13, we shall have to write three. We regroup one. We shall continue and say 3 times 8. 3 times 8. What do we get? That will be 24. 24 plus 1. 24 plus 1 will be 25. So 25 we shall have to write 5. We regroup 2. Okay? After regrouping 2 we shall say 3 times 4. 12 plus 2, 14. 14, we shall have to write 4. We regroup 1. Then we shall say 3 times 2, 6. 6 plus 1, 7. Yes, that will be the second step. Now, what do you see here? What do you see under tens on the second number? There is nothing. And this nothing, we can also put a zero to represent nothing. Okay. So you realize that the second number is also done. Then we go to the third digit. Not a number, the th third digit. The first digit, we have got its product. The second digit, we have got its product. Then the third digit, we also need to find its product. And the third digit belongs to which place value? It belongs to the place value of a hundred, meaning that we are going to multiply in a hundred. So I'll say, I'll first of all have to copy my question here. I'll say two, four, eight, four, three, four, three times two. This two is under the place value of a hundred, so it will be two hundred. Then from there, we shall have to come and multiply this out. I'll say 2 times 3. 2 times 3. I'm beginning with this 2 to multiply it with everything out here. So I'll have 2 times 3. That will give us 6. 6 is not supposed to be written here, neither here. It is supposed to be written under the place value of 100. I mean under the place value of 100. And remember, 100, 2 also belongs to 100. So I'll say 2 times 3, it will give us 6. 6 will be written here where there is 2. And the 2 is under the place value of 100. Meaning that 6 is supposed to be written under the place value of 100. Then from there we shall have 2 times 4. That will be 8. Then we shall have 2 times 3. That will be 6. Then 2 times 4. That will be 8. 2 times 8. That will give us 16. 16 we shall have to write 6. We regroup 1. We shall have to write 6. And we regroup 1. This one's we finished them a long time ago. So I will say 2 times 8, which will give us 16. 16, I will have to write 6. I regroup 1 here. And I will say 2 times 4. That's 8. 8 plus 1, that will be 9. So I will come and write here my... Nine. Remember, we have not finished all the digits. So we shall have to come for two times two, which will give us four. Four will be written here. After that, when you look at this well, you realize that my digits are arranged well. 
basing on their eh, place values. Basing on their place values. They are arranged very well basing on their place values. Now when you look at this number, do we have anything here? No. If we have nothing, it means it can be also zero. Zero means there is nothing. We call it place holder. At the same time, when I look at the first number here, what do I have here? Here we have nothing. What do I have here? Here I have nothing. What do I have here? Here I have nothing. I can also do that. Then from there, I'll have to find the sum of the product of those three digits after working them out the way we have done. So from there, we shall have to say 3, time, uh, three plus 0 plus 0, that will give us 3. We have 4 plus 9, that will be 13 plus 0. We shall maintain 13. 13, we shall have to write 3. We regroup 1. 1 plus 3, 4. 4 plus 2, that will be... 6. 6 plus 6 will be 12. So 12, we shall have to write 2. We regroup 1. Then from there, we shall say 1 plus 4, that will be 5, plus 0. Which will we shall maintain 5. Then at the same time, we add 8 on 5, that will be 13. So 13, we shall have to write 3, and we regroup 1. Have to regroup 1. So we shall say 1 plus 8, that will be 9. 9 plus 3, that will be 12. 12 plus 6. That will be 18. 18, we are required to write 8, we regroup 1. 1 plus 4, that will be 5. 5 plus 5, that will be 10. Then 10 plus 8, that will be 18. So if it is 18, I'll have to write my... 8 and I regroup 1. After regrouping 1, I'll say 1 plus 2, that is 3. 3 plus 4, that is 7. 7 plus 6, that is 13. So if I have 13, I'll have to write here 3, then I regroup 1. I'll say 1 plus 0, 1, 1 plus 7, that's 8, 8 plus 9, that will give us 17. 17, I'll be required to write 7, and I regroup 1. When I regroup 1, I'll say 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 4, that will give us 5. So I'll have to write here my 5. Then after there, I'll come here and say... 1, 2, 3, comma, 1, 2, 3, comma. Then from there, I'll have to read what I've written in words. And before reading that, I'll come to the last statement and I say, there are four, two millions, four hundred, eighty-four, thousand, three hundred, forty-three, multiplied by 231 will to give us 5 7 3 8 8 3 2 3 3 as I'm underlining I need you to be reading this number in words before I read it I need you to be reading it in words before I read it. I want you to read it in words before I read it. How do we read this in words? 
for those who have been who are following us i think you know we read all the three digits we add the word we read the three digits we add the word we read, we read the three digits and end there so how shall we read this we shall say two million four hundred eighty four thousand three hundred forty three Time was 231. Will give us uh, 573 million 883,233. That is what we shall come out with. So once you get this number, or once you get the first number and find the product with the second number, you realize that you'll come out with 573,883,233. So from there, I would like us to go to another number. We summarize with the next number. And as we summarize with the next number, I would advise our followers outside there to keep the spirit of following the program for your own advantage as a pupil or as a learner. You will continue as a learn much with us as we share, as we send our initiative and we recognize the PTN staff for this program that is enabling our learners access the service in this process or in these hard times. What I know is keep in mind that hard times don't last but had people last long. So this had a time is just there for a moment. All in all, it will not last. God will be with us as our leaders of different countries are looking for possible ways to see that they overcome this situation. And we pray so much that also God be on our side, so that the situation can be solved soon meanwhile i want you to try for me this third example i can call it a trial number it says what is the product what is the product what is the product of Two, one, two, three, two, one, one. And I want you to find out for me that just within one minute, you must be done with it. Then we go to another example. I want you to work out just like a try number before we go to exercise or this time round you'll be finding it out i hope everyone is now busy outside there finding or working out the number so i want us i want us i want us to go through that be multiplying it when you multiply it i need to see the answer compare with what i'm going to do then we see what we have to do because as i wind up with my number you can as well also compare with what we have been doing with what you are doing on that very example then from there we are going to have an exercise that you are supposed also to do not just a matter of watching and we leave everything goes like as if we have been watching news there is a difference between news and lesson so we have at least to have something behind which really confirms that we are having a lesson 
not just news. So when you look at our number, we have got 200, uh, 212 millions, 212 millions, 300, 212 millions, 212 millions, check here, 212 millions, 212 millions, 321,111, and 22, I mean 221, I want you to find the product of the two numbers, so as you're working out the product of the two numbers, I want you to hurry up such that uh, we may have also some kind of work or exercise that you'll be also going through. I hope you are now almost summarizing up the number. As you summarize up the number, I want us to go to another number. As you summarize up the number, I want us to go to exercise. I want us to go to exercise. I hope you are almost done. You're taking a lot of time. Just within two means I'm doing correction for the number. Within two means I'm doing correction for the number. As I do correction, I'm leaving you with exercise at the same time. I'm leaving you with exercise at the same time. All right, for those who have been for uh, who have been trying to work out, I think you are now done with it. Let's go through the number together. I want us to arrange it very fast then we summarize and uh, we give some exercise for us to try as well. So we shall have to arrange the number as two, one, two, one, two, three, two, one, 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 one. Multiplied by two, two, one, or one, to two. So I want us to look at this together. So the first step we shall have the first number multiplied by the first digit multiplied by the whole number. So this will be one times one, one times one, one times one, one times one, one times two, then we shall have one times three. We shall have also 1 times 2. Then we shall say 1 times 1. At the same time, 1 times 2. So we are done with the first digit. Then we go to the second digit. That is under 10. So we shall say 2 times 1, which will give us 2, 2, 2, 2. We are saying 2 times 2. I mean 2 times 1. It will give us 2. At the same time, we shall have... 2 times 1, 2 times 1, 2 times 1, which will give us 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. This 2 with this gives us this. This 2 with this gives us this. This 2 with this gives us this. This 2 with this to gives us this. So we have also 2 times 2. It will have to give us 4. Then 2 times 3, that will be 6. Then 2 times 2, that will be again 4. Then from there, 2 times 1, it will have to be 2. Then finally, 2 times 2, it will give us 4. I hope everyone is having that. Then from there, we shall continue with the next 2. So this will go with this. We shall have to write it here. So we shall have 2. Then this with this. We shall have this with this, which will give us 2. This with this, it will give us 2. This with this, it will have.